hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl adriana dc so tonight you guys i'm gonna be giving you my top 10 fragrances that's ideal for weddings now um a minute ago while i was in college i had a very interesting conversation not really an interesting conversation but one of my um college mates actually said to me in the spring and summer months like from march onwards in some cultures we have wedding season you know in the spring months of the year and i just felt that was really beautiful i, I think i wish you know um more cultures would embrace marriage and you know really have a season for weddings you know where couples um you know are willing and very happy and embrace the thought of you know coupling up and joining as one i really think it's quite beautiful so yeah i decided to put together 10 fragrances um that's ideal for wedding season or should i say that special wedding whether you're a bride bridesmaid or whatever the case is i think these scents are absolutely beautiful you know um simply elegant and classy for you know um an ideal wedding scent so if you guys are interested in seeing my selections by all means keep on watching if you guys are new here make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure to hit the notification bell so that way you guys will be notified every single time i upload and without further ado let's just dive right into this video so the first selection on my list is none other than Mon Golen by Guerlain. Now, the classes of them are, you know, the elegant and pretty, sparkling, lavender and vanilla dominant smelling fragrance. What would my selections be without Mon Golen? Now, this is a very classy smelling fragrance, very elegant, light um dominant with lavender and vanilla as i said to you guys there is a hint of citrus vibes to this perfume but it's bright it's somewhat um sparkling a little bit crisp sweet with a hint of creaminess to it you know very much a beautiful scent yeah beautiful scent now this has been you know this has been a very um this has been a crowd favorite for a very long time and it never goes old it smells quite sweet it is pretty ladylike it is girly you know very sophisticated very beautiful smelling fragrance and what i like what, what i like about this perfume is it's like a um it's not that it doesn't smell that sweet but if you spray yourself down enough for this perfume the sweetness in this perfume can be a little bit um it could be a bit strong so it is you know it is a, a good quality um fragrance now it is a bit light when it comes to lasting but it is a beautiful scent nonetheless so i think this would be an absolutely beautiful selection you know for a wedding for either the bride or the bridesmaid very elegant classy beautiful scent you guys so this is man Golen by Golen. this is my first selection for that ideal wedding scent next we have coco mademoiselle by chanel okay this is again another staple the classiest of them all you know very sophisticated beautiful scent the essence of mandarin orange yeah mandarin orange and some orange in this fragrance i think this also has in bergamot it has in vanilla patchouli orange blossom that's it some orange blossom it's, it comes off a bit soapy even a bit musky as well but overall this is an elegant smelling fragrance beautiful classy smelling fragrance bright crisp florally beautiful perfume year in year out this would always be you know um you know when we talk about class and elegance we talk about coco mademoiselle you guys a very beautiful very pretty scent you guys definitely ideal for a wedding or you know a um very classy and elegant um outing uh, whatever the case is this perfume you can never ever go and especially wrong. if in the spring and summertime what i love about these selections thus far you can wear them all year round so whether it's a wedding during you know wedding season 
you know any time of year you can definitely pull for your mangolin and your coco mademoiselle you guys definitely very beautiful scent so this is coco mademoiselle by chanel next we have is a recent release you guys and this is valentino born in roma yellow dreams now yeah this perfume pretty much has in well the website claims that it has in lemon rose and musk you can definitely smell that there's a bit more going on in this fragrance there is a hint of green essence to this perfume i do believe there is some bogomat and there is some jasmine either way yeah either way you put it this is an elegant fresh rose and um, lemon and musk smelling fragrance you definitely get the lemon the essence from the lemon combined with the rose gives this perfume a very beautiful touch you guys i kid you not i recently had this perfume and out of all the fragrances that i've had this was my more one of my most exciting picks my most exciting discovery it is such a beautiful scent it is clean it is fresh but there is, just, there is just enough sweetness in this perfume to carry off that lemon and the rose and even though the rose is there, I feel like it's dominated more by the um, lemon zestiness. They're not zestiness because it's not an overly zesty or citrusy fragrance. It is not that type of scent. It is a fresh lemon that is not too citrusy. Okay, but the lemon is what's standing out. There is a hint of green essence to this perfume. The rose, it's um, it's not a it's not a heavy rose, but it comes off a little bit cold. And of course, you catch the musk in this perfume. This is a very elegant scent. I do believe this perfume can be worn all year round, you guys. But of course, it will shine in the spring and the summer months. But it's a very elegant rose, lemon and musk fragrance. Definitely ideal for, you know, a wedding, whether you're the bride or a bridesmaid or whatever the case is such a beautiful scent you guys and as it begins to dry down you're definitely catching more a um a bouquet of rose essence in the perfume i would say as it dries down the rose kind of stands out more in this fragrance and again you do catch a hint of greenness to this perfume in my opinion if you've smelled aloe rose um from mfk which is a much more fresher version of this this is a much more intense heavier and so much colder version to that mfk a la rose beautiful scent so this is valentina born in rome yellow dreams and next we have victor in rolf flower balm dew you guys and let me tell you this this is a very a crisp white musky white floral fragrance literally there is some osmantus in this fragrance a hint of tuber rose okay but this is a crisp white clean floral scent it comes out quite delicate quite soft a musky beautiful floral scent it dries on quite powdery i love this scent in all its simplicity yeah a very very elegant perfume from victor and Ralph. i'm gonna have to say very very elegant scent yeah. very eerie light the musk is quite prominent in it but again this is a beautiful soft white floral scent with the essence of musk in it i mean there is this is a beautiful and ideal scent to wear to a very elegant or classy or dressy event you know especially you know in all white it's in a matte white bottle somewhat minimalistic beautiful scent and pretty much how this bottle looks kind of conveys how this perfume smells is a beautiful crisp clean delicate white floral scent that um, has a bit of musk in there but it just smells so beautiful so elegant very nice classy fragrance to wear to a wedding or you know a set uh, definitely as a bridesmaid or whatever the case is this would be a very beautiful selection for those type of elegant affairs so this is flower balm dew by victor and ralph next we have parfum zamali ala rose now we've heard all the talks and all the stories about it we've heard that it's a um, watered down dry down version of delina and it is quite the opposite you guys this is a beautiful sophisticated fresh 
rose scent with a hint of green it definitely keeps the dna from parfum zamali delina but this smells sophisticated this is a sophisticated fresh rose perfume you guys and that is the first thing that came to mind this is not a watered down rose scent this is a sophisticated rose smelling fragrance it is fresh it is elegant it is classy it is not that complicated it is very well blended this is not a basic generic watered down version of delina it is a beautiful scent you guys very elegant and very much a sophisticated smelling perfume that they've managed to do off of the parfums valley delina and i am extremely impressed you guys very much impressed with this perfume you know for them having for them being able to capture a fresh version of delina while keeping sophistication elegance and classiness this would be an ideal a beautiful scent you know for a bride or bridesmaid you know whether it's a morning morning wedding or an afternoon wedding this perfume will certainly shine it is beautiful it will definitely be suitable for a nice wedding setting you guys this is a very beautiful scent so this is parfum zamali delina ala rose next we have flower balm nectar you guys and you've heard me talk about this on my channel this is an elegant smelling perfume this is a pretty lady scent now this is a floral smelling perfume that comes off a little bit jammy it has in that cassis note in there that comes from um that give you that essence of black currant and what comes to mind this smells like a beautiful floral well what should i say <laughs> okay what comes to mind is a bridesmaid in a floral um beautiful dress and not you know overly done floral dress but a beautiful cocktail like right a cock a beautiful cocktail um bridesmaid dress and pretty much this is what comes to mind when i smell this perfume and this is a very pretty smelling fragrance it smells so elegant this smells like a perfume that you'd wear to church it's a beautiful scent very girly very pretty very elegant you know it is not citrusy i'm not quite sure if it has any bergamot okay it is not i wouldn't consider it to be it's not overly sweet or anything like that even though it comes off a little bit syrupy a little bit jammy it's just a beautiful fruity floral scent you guys but a very elegant one so much elegant that what comes to mind again is you know a beautiful bridesmaid in a nice cocktail florally dress you know that's you know just blooming literally shining or captivating at a wedding this is just a really elegant pretty lady type of perfume and i definitely think this would be an ideal selection you know for a wedding setting so this is victor and Ralph flower balm nectar you guys next we have j'adore infinissimi now if you guys have heard me talk about j'adore you know that in my opinion that dior fragrances are sheer class and elegance in a bottle you guys and j'adore infinissimi is no exception now this pretty much smells like the original j'adore but it's amped up with the jasmine and the tuberose it smells sweeter it smells warmer right it smells more florally yeah definitely a much more beautiful take on the original j'adore very beautiful very sweet smelling fragrance again the tuberose is standing out the jasmine this perfume is sweet jasmine tuberose um white floral smelling fragrance it is classy it is elegant when it comes to j'adore when it comes to dior these are sheer class and elegance in a bottle you guys when it comes to a wedding scent or even as a bridesmaid you cannot go wrong with anything from j'adore now i know a lot of people aren't really into the original j'adore but even if you have not um if you're not into the j'adore try the j'adore infinissimi this is playful but it's playful it's a sophisticated type of playful it is a classy elegant playful smelling perfume again this is ideal definitely suitable for a wedding or a very classy elegant a garden party tea party anything of that sort this is your fragrance of course you can wear this for brunch dinner lunch or whatever the case is but this is a simply classy and elegant beautiful smelling perfume 
timeless it's i would say it's quite suitable for all ages i do i do think so because it is a you know a white floral it's a beautiful scent it's not i don't get like overly mature scents i know people do call your door the mommy scent or whatever the case is but this one adds a bit more modern twist to the Jador line so i definitely think that you know almost all ages can get away with this 25 and up you can definitely appreciate this scent and definitely stand out at a wedding in this fragrance so this is Jador infinissimi next of course we have the original delina okay now how could we not okay this is such a beautiful scent. now this is a fresh rose um perfume with a hint of green essence to it there's some vanilla, there's some incense, you know, there's bergamot. There's a lot going on in this perfume. But overall, it smells like a fresh rose. The greenness in this perfume is very prominent. People describe it as being tart. It is quite tart. It's a bit scratchy, but it, you cannot deny the rose in this perfume. It is very fresh. It smells lush. It smells elegant. And people love Delina because... You know, it's, it gives you a different twist. It's not just an ordinary rose scent because it has that. I would say the rose in here, so on its own, is quite complimentary and quite beautiful. And we've seen that in the Ala Rose. The rose in that perfume, very impressive, very bright. And of course, Delina, make no mistake, we all know what Delina smells like when it comes to a wedding or a bridesmaid or a wedding party. You know, an elegant affair. You cannot go wrong with any anything from the parfum zamali delina line so this is parfum zamali delina definitely suitable for a wedding or wedding party next we have idol you guys or should i say idol i don't know people call it idol i just call it idol but you know whatever the name is forgive me you guys idol by lancome again this is a beautiful fresh floral an elegant smelling perfume now when you smell this fragrance you get the essence of that pear in the bergamot it definitely jumps out at you you catch that sweet pear yeah you definitely get the essence of the sweet pear with a um a citrus burst from the bergamot and again if you notice you guys every single one of these perfumes have in rose okay rose in the heart so this actually has in turkish rose and i think um it's rose de may in the heart of this fragrance combined with jasmine and this is a beautiful scent it has in some vanilla some musk this is a fresh fruity rose smelling perfume it is eerie again it has that touch of class to it that elegance to this perfume you can definitely smell this fragrance i do understand that this perfume isn't very well received but one thing is undeniable it is a very elegant fruity floral scent very much a elegant fruity floral scent i absolutely love this perfume and i think it would be an ideal scent to wear to a wedding whether it's for the bride or her bridesmaid it's a very elegant um pear and bergamot dominant smelling perfume Again, with the essence of rose. Beautiful scent, you guys. Absolutely beautiful smell of fragrance. Oh. This is Idol by Lancome. Last, but by no means least, we have Roses and Ice by Killian, you guys. And if you have not seen my review, please check it out. Yeah, beautiful. So this is a cucumber, rose, and musk smelling fragrance okay this is an elegant classy it's somewhat simplified smelling perfume it is very refreshing very refined what comes to mind when you think about this perfume is the bride herself in an all white crisp clean white dress not a lacy white dress just a nice smooth um somewhat simple not overly done white wedding dress you guys you know a beautiful simplified bride Most brides these days are very you know elaborate and fishtail and lace and all those stuff 
but you know those simplified looking um brides those brides who come with their hair just slick back in one with you know minimalistic type of makeup a nice simple beautiful dress that complements their elegance in class in their simplicity this is what comes to mind when i smell this perfume this is just an elegant very refreshing um cucumber and rose smelling perfume and i know you're probably like thinking well cucumbers i kid you not these are the best smelling cucumbers you can ever smell i uh if you guys smell this perfume you would have a new <laughs> sense of appreciation for cucumber smelling fragrance this is a beautiful classy elegant smelling fresh fragrance you guys definitely ideal to wear to a beautiful wedding whether whether it's in the morning or in the afternoon i wouldn't wear it to the after party it's not crunk enough but it's a very elegant and beautiful sophisticated smelling fragrance and this would be an ideal scent for that wedding fragrance a wedding selection so there you have it you guys these are my top 10 fragrance that i consider to be absolutely beautiful selections for that special wedding whether you're the bride or the bridesmaid i think these are beautiful elegant smelling perfumes none of them will break the bank <laughs> okay so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video by all means give me a thumbs up if you guys are new to my youtube channel please do hit that subscribe button make sure to hit the notification bell so that way you guys will be notified every single time i upload and until next time, see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>